guys. So in the previous video, I showed you how to add an icon to your AutoCAD button. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the background color of the button. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm back to automate ABC button uh, dashboard. And you can see that there is a section called buttons background here. And you can select the background of the button on the normal state and when the cursor is hover on that button. So let me explain. The first thing we need to do is to check this button to use custom background. So for example, I want to set the background color of my button to something like this. Blue, like this. And then I click on select. And on this background, I want to use a white color for the text. Now I save the settings. Go to my shop page, reload that. And you see that we have the white text on the background, blue. So when I hover on the button, there isn't any change. So how do you want, uh, how can you set a different background color when the cursor is over the button? So go back to our page. This is where we set the on hover color. So for example, I want to use a lighter, lighter blue color when the cursor is over the button. So I select this color. I select button text color. Maybe we want it to be something like this. And click on save settings. Okay. Now go back to our shop page. Reload that. And when I hover on this button, you can see that the background color and the text color has changed. So that is how you can set the background color for the button. And you can also notice that there, is, there are three options here. The option that we have been using is solid color. You can also select the gradient for the background color of the button. Or you can also set an image to be the color, to be the background of the button. So I'm going to select a gradient here and to demonstrate it to you. So gradient is a blend of two or more colors. So in this case, we have two colors. So make sure you select this, this checkbox, this uh, radio button and click on gradient color tab. And I'm going to quickly set the first and second color of this gradient and copy this and paste it here, make it a bit lighter. And on hover, I want it to, to change to something even lighter, something like that, something like that, okay. And you can specify uh, gradient degree here. So for example, I want to select it to 50 degree. Maybe this one, I want to change it to 90. The button text color would be white because white text would work perfectly on a red background. Now I'm going to click on save settings and click on OK. Go to my shop page here, reload that. And you see that we have a nice gradient color here. And when I hover on the on the button, we see the background a gradient has changed. The last option of the, the the button would be the button background would be image. So to use image as background, you select this select box, this radio button click on image. So for example, I have uh, this, this button here. I don't want to use this button as the, the background for my button. So I click on select an image, upload that, that image, it is on my desktop. 
my method here and click on use this image and background size I would recommend you use cover and no repeat of course if you want to have a pattern that repeat then you can select uh, repeat here so with that settings I click on save settings here okay and I'll go to my short page and you can see that we have the button as background here but it doesn't look very well so maybe you want to delete the AutoCAD text of the button first click on save settings go back and we have the button here and finally you may want to remove the icon go back here so now we have an image as the as the background of the button and it it doesn't look very well but in case you want to use an image as the background of the button you see that that option is available so that is how you can change the background of the button you can either use solid color your gradient color or even use an image as the background of the button so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video with more tips to customize the autocad button for woocommerce